guess what? We're all going to die someday. With that said, how do you pass on your DNA test results? Howdy, I'm Devin Noel Lee with Family History Fanatics, and this is a segment of DNA with a twist. Today, we're going to talk with Victoria Wu, a will and probate attorney here in Texas. But before we talk to any lawyer, they always have to give a disclaimer. And remember, this is YouTube. You shouldn't be getting all of your legal advice from YouTube. As a disclaimer, nothing herein can be taken as legal advice. Uh, you must contact a licensed attorney in your jurisdiction for your specific needs. And nothing herein constitutes the formation of an attorney-client relationship. Today's question of the day regarding DNA and a little legal spin is how do you pass on your DNA test to your children should you, we're all going to die, right? How do we create an inheritance for our DNA? Okay, it's not too difficult. Um, normally the transfer of that kind of information is covered um, by the terms of use and um, Normally, it doesn't permit the transfer of information. <laughs> um, so what you can do is you can provide in your will that you would like all your genealogical data to be left to a certain person. Um, recently, there was the passage in most states, and the rest of the states are considering it, is the Revised Uniform Fiduciary Access to Digital Assets Act, which we also call RUFADA. <laughs> we, we like <laughs> long words. Um, <laughs> and it provides that um, DNA testing companies or any digital asset company can have you designate a fiduciary who can get that information for you. Family Tree DNA has that provision in it right now. I'm sure the other ones will come online here very shortly. But otherwise, just leave it in your will. Another thing you can do, just go ahead and print it out. Except, you know, your tree worth of actual DNA. But your other results, you can print that out and just stick it with your other important papers. Absolutely. Now, um, passwords, how does that fall into? Should you share your passwords? Should you leave a list of passwords in your, your estate? files. I'm not sure what to call those. And I recommend to leave your executor a list of all your passwords, of all your bank accounts, all of that, not just your genealogy, uh, genealogy data, but leave all that. Um, and there's some differences on how information is transferred or not transferred depending on the type of data it is. Okay. Now, one other question. Mm -hmm. For those people like me who aren't wordsmith, what is fiduciary? <laughs> a fiduciary is an agent, like an executor, your power of attorney, someone okay. like that, someone who's responsible who's going to take responsibility for somebody else. Okay. If you have any further questions like us, don't be afraid to ask the question. Victoria's awesome. You just saw how she answered my question about a word that I'm not sure of. So leave your questions or comments in the comment section below. Check out our website, familyhistoryfanatics.com, so you can be informed of upcoming e-conferences.